Hello everyone, welcome back to my Unreal Engine third person shooter tutorial series. So here in this episode I am going to add camera input to the third person character like this. So I will add camera inputs and also I will add movement inputs but we haven't added the animations yet so it will stay in the idle animation even if it is moving. So alright. Let's get started with the camera input. And this episode is sponsored by these generous Patreons. Thank you very much for your support. Okay, so implement animations. First, I need to set up moment keys. So I'll go to project settings and input. And under axis mappings, I'll add a new axis move forward and for the key I'll use W keyboard W with the scale 1 and keyboard S with the S S here keyboard S with the scale minus 1 so basically I would be able to move forward with W and backward with S so if you want to set up um, joystick inputs you can do that here as well so for example let's say you want to move this character with the gamepad here you can select the which key that you need to implement so I'm not going to implement gamepad input at the moment. So I only need this one. So later on you can add if you like. Okay. Now let's open this CH soldier blueprint and add moment inputs. Also we need another axis to move right. And left all right the key is D well it's easier to select it yeah D scale is 1 and a scale is minus 1 so this is the basic WSAD movement setup with D you can move right with A you can move left all right now let's go to search soldier here also I'll add a basic input event drop this is not necessary actually but I can if you like I can add it here but I need to keep this organized so that's why I do this okay so move forward and we can move the character move forward move with add movement input so here we have to define the scale it will come from this and the word direction the direction that this character should move so this is same for move forward and move right I duplicate this with control W and magnitude is this but how do we get the direction well that's easy so we should move the character to the direction that we are facing at the moment so we can get it like this when we want to move forward that means move the character to the direction we are facing get control rotation and we can break it like no not break yeah we can break it like this 
So we only need to consider this yo here. And then we can make rotator and x and pitch and x pitch and roll should be zero because the character can move only horizontal plane unless there is a slope in the ground that will automatically happen right now this is the rotator now using this rotator I can get forward vector so this will define the forward direction of the character and using this I can get the right vector as well so connect it here and compile and let's see what happens in the game yeah now the character can look with W we can move forward with S we can move backward and with D right A left so it works but we don't have animations yet so all right and uh, actually before we begin with animations I think we should uh, look into this so when my character move into this direction it should rotate to that direction to face the direction that I am working so we can do it here mm, let's here we have under movement some option called uh, here orient rotation to movement if I enable this the character will be rotated to face that direction like this but still we have to add the animations but uh, I'll look into that in the next episode because otherwise this one this part will be too long and thanks for watching I'll post a source code update soon and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club link would be in the description below see you in the next episode goodbye